Hi there, I'm Classy Joe Beretta, and this is another bonus feature spotlight. Martin and Lewis, Lucy and Ricky, Farley and Spade. Comedy duos come in all shapes and sizes, and generally speaking, the more unlikely the pairing, the bigger the laughs. That, my friends, is comedy science. Enter Seth Rogen and Zac Efron. The funny man and pretty boy respectively are superstars in their own right, and in Neighbors, they're opposing skill sets to join forces to give the classic odd couple dynamic a hard R update. The result is a generational smackdown between Rogen's dad bod and Efron's dreamy abs as they feud across property lines. Not surprisingly, making the film looks just as much fun as watching it. What is this, and what is it for? Drinking beer? Hey, Mac, hey, Kelly. Yes, hey. Uh, Seth and Zac Efron make no sense on screen together, and I feel like that is equals comedy. Yeah. You're really rad, so. You are. Yeah. Awesome. Most people wouldn't ever envision that, but I've been around it, I know it works, and it's something we haven't seen before, you know? Hey! I've actually met Zac Efron a number of times in the Hollywood circuit, as they call it. <laughs> and he was a nice guy. And uh, I remember what I was impressed with is he seemed very aware that I would probably hate him. He's not lame. <laughs> he's actually a good guy. I guess he's good looking. I don't know. He is very good looking. He is very good looking. Crystal blue eyes, flawless tan skin, perfectly coiffed hair, muscles that I didn't know existed. He's got like those muscles that connect to your pubes. I don't even know what those are. And today we shot a little pickup of Zac Efron because we didn't have him due to food poisoning. Ironically, he was eating muscles. That's my joke. Come on over here. Oh! <clears throat> I'm gonna laugh when I say this. And his first meeting was rad. I just remember he came in and the meeting ended with him saying, and then maybe someone fucks me in the ass with a broom. And we said to ourselves after he left, this is the kind of guy we want to be in business with. He loved it. He said yes. In the room. Go, Pete, go! In the script, this was always my favorite scene. I've only crossed streams with a few people in my life. My grandpa when I was a little boy, my dad, my little brother, and Seth Rogen. Uh, just drown it. Drown it, sink it. Uh, okay. You could get me a king slayer. Uh, <laughs> oh, my hand! <laughs> oh, my flip flop, dude. Come Sorry. On. Jesus. I got a wide spray. <laughs> he's going to surprise people with how funny he is. He's really funny in it, and he's a great foil for Seth. I <laughs> <laughs> love it. <laughs> I've ever in my life. I got a call from Seth, and I hang up the phone and went, ah, yes, yes, yes. Ah, so stoked. And then. <laughs> it never feels like you're acting with Seth. I've never had quite this much fun filming. Seth is magic. He's brilliant and he's fun, and I love working with him. He's a comedy genius. I met him when he was 18. He walked into the writer's room, and we were all like, who's this 18-year-old? And then he just was the funniest person in the room. He improvises every goddamn scene, and it's all usable, super funny material. Oh nice my name. god, best name ever! Named after my bubby, who died. <laughs> <laughs> and he always breaks new ground at the dick joke. Daddy! Did you just try and scare me with your hose? No. Literally? I don't know, are you scared? There's a lot of topless work in this movie for me. I'm not in great shape right now either. I've been in much better shape than this, but it's funnier that way. Every time I'm about to not eat something unhealthy, I'm like, funnier if I eat this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad for, for audiences in general, but... There's a bit of a bromance. It's always funny to us to think that, like, Zach is literally six years younger than Seth. It's not huge. I remember when Tupac got shot. Like, Tupac got shot? Crazy. Oh, it was crazy. And he'd only been shot, like, 15 times. And you're like, he won't die. And they go, oh, he fucking died. Crazy. But, wow. now, but now you got hologram Tupac. Yeah, that was kind of cool. When we talk about what was, like, quintessential stuff when we were kids, like, his answers, stuff like Drake, 
and that is like so many light years from what I was raised on. Like that's not Nirvana. We just did a dance off. It kicked ass. Yeah. You've danced in movies before. I did. I have too. <laughs> Probably <laughs> differently. Yeah, I can't do a movie without there being at least one dance off. When Seth and Zach have the dance off is hilarious. I did more uh, phallic and shimming dancing. You did, yeah. <laughs> Seth's, Seth's moves are hilarious. <laughs> My favorite is this one that we had. Me and Evan used to do that in high school. That's <laughs> probably why we didn't get laid much. Did you do a super slow version of that break in? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 so no, we should play past the power. So See, like, I've got the ball, you freeze, I've got. And then, catch it, turn it you, you did more actual dancing. Yeah. You did a lot of this. Yeah, let's yeah, let's go. Seth's got the better comedy moves, but Zach's just a fantastic dancer. <laughs> well, I could have watched them all night. We're a great team. Thanks. You make the store more approachable. What does that mean? <laughs> the comedy clearly doesn't let up between takes on this one, everybody. If you want to see more shirtless shenanigans, be sure to pick up Neighbors on Blu-ray, because there's plenty more abs and flab than we had time to show you here. Seriously, how do you use this? For bonus feature spotlight, I'm Joe Beretta. Thank you for watching Universal Pictures All Access. Get the most out of your movies. All right, you guys, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and if you want to see more, click on one of these other videos. And also, uh, the, the little subscribe button that's floating somewhere around here. I, you find it. You're an adult.